Well, alrighty, y'all. Good morning. I'm coming to you really real and really raw this morning, as you can hear by my lovely voice. I'm, I'm on the tail end of a cold that I've had for about a week. It's been the most obnoxious thing. Um, like, I don't know, colds don't usually take me down, but this one has felt brutal. And I really thought it was allergies at first because like through my throat and through my sinuses, it wasn't the normal like congestion or like downright sore throat that I always get before I get sick in any way. It was like swelling. It was like my throat felt like it was swelling up and my sinuses just felt so swollen. And so like I couldn't clear them regardless of what I did. But honestly glad that it's not allergies because I've never really dealt with those before and don't want to develop any weird symptoms. Um, but that being said, I've been trying to kick this in the butt and um, I'm just filming a day of eating today going to be a pretty normal day of eating to, you know, help support my metabolism. Um, we can talk a little bit about immunity, but honestly, what I do on a day to day basis is hopefully supportive to my immune system as a whole. So not too different in that respect. Um, but that being said, I just made a little pre breakfast. Um, it's probably going to be what I have for like the next hour or two. Um, but I have over here, an orange what remains of it it's a kara kara orange these have been so good and i'm enjoying kind of the tail end of the citrus season right now and then i made a coffee using my purity liver support coffee which um actually speaking of immunity that has a ton of antioxidants and is great for immunity so um i have a link for you below you can check that out but it's my liver support coffee and it is in an iced latte just with whole milk it's the laughing cow dairy Hold on. No, it's not. It's the working cow dairy, um, like low temp pasteurized milk, which you can get at Whole Foods, at least here in Wilmington. And I've seen it at other Whole Foods in North Carolina. Um, but we can't get raw milk, at least very readily, um, unless it's for quote unquote animal consumption in North Carolina. And so this is the best alternative I have found. But um, this coffee is banging in a nice latte. I'm really enjoying this. And I put my collagen in here. So even though this is like a really small meal, so to say, I have my carbs from the orange, some in the milk, and then I have protein and fat from the milk and the collagen. And I don't know, it's just like, my appetite is very low right now. So I'm not eating a huge breakfast and I just kind of want to sit and enjoy my morning, but still important to kind of get those get those basics in so i've been talking for a while um but there are a couple more things i want to say number one make sure to hang tight until a little bit later in the video because this is so exciting i am at the point in my nutritional therapy course um, where it is time for me to take on my first practice client and what that means um, is that i am going to be looking for one of y'all if you are interested to actually work with me um, completely free as a practice client and um, I'm going to give details on that shortly, but kind of bear that in mind. It would be a huge blessing to me and hopefully a huge blessing to you as well. And then second of all, you also saw me start some sourdough. I'm going to be finishing those loaves today and then using some of that in a springtime panzanella, panzanella, PA. I don't know how you say it, but it's a delicious salad with torn croutons. Um, and I'm excited to show you all that as well. So thanks for being here. Come along. Enjoy the ride. first need to say that I am an absolute baller because I just scrambled eggs in a cast iron skillet and they barely stuck at all. So it's a couple hours later. I have gotten myself dressed, put on some makeup, and I'm feeling a little bit more alive. Um, that can really count for a lot. So I made myself a soft scramble um, over some cilantro lime rice, just two eggs with salt and pepper. And a soft scramble is great because it helps to preserve some of the more delicate nutrients in eggs. Most namely or most um, notably is going to be biotin actually. So um, when you cook eggs all the way that nutrient kind of breaks down a little bit, but in doing a soft scramble or keeping your yolks runny or even consuming raw egg yolks, you're going to get a little bit more of that into your system. 
I want to talk now about this amazing opportunity that I have to work with one of y'all. So as some of you probably know, um, I am currently in a nutrition program to become a nutritional therapy practitioner. And as a part of that, I've been so excited for this, I actually get to take on some practice clients. There are gonna be two throughout the course of my training. So um, if it doesn't work out for me to work with you now, um, it is possible that we can absolutely do that in the future. Um, but as I was saying, it is time for me to take on the first practice client. And what this process is gonna look like, it's gonna be at least three meetings over the course of the next few months. Um, there is gonna be a good bit of paperwork involved. I just wanna be upfront about that because um, like, honestly, it's not just, oh, I wanna help you with something. You're doing me a big favor in filling this role um, if it's something you wanna do, but there is, a good bit of paperwork involved and I'm just asking that if you're interested you be willing to commit to that. I've done all the paperwork myself and I honestly found it to be an enlightening process. So the kind of thing we're looking at it's going to be like an initial interview questionnaire. You're going to go through this huge I'll be upright it's like between 300 and 400 questions but fascinating about every single aspect of your health that you can imagine um, so that we can really fully understand what's going on in your body. It's just again You'll have it'll be online or you can print it out but it's going to be questions where you you know do you have this symptom or how do you react in this situation and you just kind of check the box um but anyways that's to help us really catalog where you are in your health so we can identify symptoms and then correlate them to function in the body um but that's that's the biggest one the initial interview questionnaire and then the other thing is that we're going to ask you to keep a food and mood journal for at least a few days ideally it's going to be more like a week where you're writing down pretty much everything that you're eating um how your digestion is how you're feeling after those meals and this is going to give us really really crucial information insightful information information into how what you're eating is affecting your body um, and, and point us to areas where we can really help you kind of take your health to the next level. So that being said, I have the opportunity now to work with one person. It will be completely free of charge and it can really be anything that you're looking to work on. Maybe you're just looking to take your health to the next level. Maybe you're having issues with blood sugar balance. Maybe you are having some mental health issues that you really feel could be impacted by your diet and lifestyle. Maybe you are looking to get pregnant either now or a little bit down the road and you want to work on your preconception health, maybe your postpartum. Um, maybe you are dealing with some ongoing issue and you just want to kind of try a fresh approach this would be a great opportunity to do it I will say the only I guess criteria that or type of person that I'm not gonna work with right now is someone who is currently pregnant just because that's introducing another person into the mix and um, not quite ready to take that on yet but um, you know any other type of situation I would love to hear from you if you're interested in this so I think I already said at least three meetings that paperwork we talked about and what I'm gonna have you do if you're interested is please comment below so that I know that you're essentially applying and then send me either an email. My email address is always linked below um, in the description, but it's sallyrhand at gmail.com. You can email me there or you can message me over on Instagram. Um, and I'm going to go through, essentially, I want you to tell me what sort of you know health situation you are trying to address what your goals are why you're interested bottom line um and i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna pick someone i wish i could work with everybody right now but i can't and ultimately i'm going to need to choose the person that i feel like um is going to be the best fit for this initial kind of process um but once again we'll have the opportunity to work with someone else in the future and then of course be taking on paying clients in the next year um i feel like i'm like rambling on about this it's probably not that complicated but i just want to make sure all the information is out there i'm so excited for this i would love to hear from you so again comment below and then either email me or send me an instagram message letting me know why you're interested and yeah we can move forward with it oh and one more thing i am going to eat my breakfast and then probably just do a little bit of reading and studying right now and then I am going to go for a walk I want to go to the gym but I also know that I'm not quite feeling good enough to do that and probably the worst thing that you can do in this sort of situation is like push yourself too hard too fast because your body's just not up to it but going for a walk getting some fresh air will be good for me
is now lunchtime. I had some tea, as y'all saw, and I took a really nice little walk, even got a little sweat on. The sun came out for me. That was so nice. Um, and I have my sourdough bread um, just out of the oven, but it's lunchtime, like I said. So today for lunch, I'm having some more of my cilantro lime rice that I made last night. I have got some beef roast here, and then I have some homemade pickled onions, and I have a red bell pepper um, just sliced up on the side or half of a, a huge red bell pepper. So some things to note about this meal in particular, and just FYI, I will be show, sharing the recipe um, in a video that'll be coming out a couple weeks down the road. Um, but a couple things to note when it comes to the beef, it really makes all the difference if you can get at least, you know, as frequently as possible, get grass fed beef. It's going to have a better ratio of um, omega 3 to omega, oh my goodness, words. It's going to have a better ratio of omega 3 to omega 6 fatty acids, and it's actually going to have an increased vitamin and mineral content. Um, and of course, there's the ethical piece of it as well, but getting grass fed beef whenever possible, something I do to make that a little bit cheaper is I will literally go to the the store and pick out whatever roast is cheapest that week and sometimes it varies but oftentimes it's this bottom round roast I think I got it for like $8.99 a pound um, and it's it's a very tough roast on its own so you need to do it in the instant pot or do it low and slow um, but when you do it that way you get really tasty lean meat and um, this is like barbacoa ish I was planning to make barbacoa beef but then I realized I didn't have the right ingredients. So we're calling it barbacoa-ish, but <laughs> anyways, really tasty, really nutrient dense protein source here. And I know we talk about protein a lot here on my channel, but I just want to emphasize that when you're sick, it's especially important. It's even harder to get it in. Like honestly, the first day I was really, really struggling, um, but your body needs even extra protein um, to heal and to fuel itself if you are under the weather. Um, and then pickled onions, um, getting in good phytonutrients and just micronutrients as a whole from those and from my bell peppers here. Bell peppers are a great source of vitamin C and of course the phytonutrients that are, are causing it to be red as well as the red onion have lots of great antioxidants um, and anti-inflammatory goodness in them. So I'm going to enjoy this and then Samuel and I are actually going to get out of the house and do some work at a coffee shop, which we haven't done in a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and I will let you know what I get there and then see you back at dinner time. As y'all saw, I got home from the coffee shop while I was there. I just had um, a latte, regular whole milk latte, my go-to, and it was very tasty. Got a lot of work done, and then I made my buttermilk roast chicken, and we have our spring springtime panzanella. That's how I'm going to say it. I'm going to be all fancy. Unless someone corrects me and phonetically can show me how to pronounce that word in the comment section that would be awesome but i can't take credit for either of these recipes they are both from salt fat acid heat absolutely love that cookbook as y'all have heard me talk about it before and of course loosely i you know change some things up that's a big premise of the book is like use these as guides um to kind of spark creativity but work with the ingredients you have so for instance i used 
um, dill instead of mint in the panzanella because that's what I have on hand. Um, and pickled onions instead of doing the whole onion thing like she did. But um, I'm gonna eat this. I have a little bit of rose as well. And gonna end the video for the evening. So I think that's it. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, once again, please don't forget to let me know in the comments and then either by email or on Instagram if you are interested in working with me completely for free. Um, I do need to decide on that person by April 2nd, so I have to act pretty quickly. Um, so don't hold back and I look forward to hearing from y'all. But until next time, bye.